Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name's Dylan and this is Mary. Kenji Mary on Instagram. Yeah, follow her on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. We'll link it in the description down below. Uh, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Today we are doing a story time. Crazy story time. Uh, Mary takes Uber and Lyft a lot. Why? Because you don't have a car here. <laughs> yeah, and I'm lazy. Yeah, and you like to be chauffeured around, right? It's convenient. Yeah. So, um, this is Mary, otherwise known as the European Uber passenger who doesn't leave tips. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> I have a nickname now. Cute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you guys don't know, you, why don't you introduce yourself, say where you're from, etc. So, I'm from Europe, I'm a makeup artist, and I came to LA to chase after my dreams. What are your dreams? To become a makeup artist. And? And, well, a beauty blogger. Beauty blogger. Yeah. How's that going? It's going pretty good so far. Yeah, you like the G-Wagon? Oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> I'm living my dream life for a moment. Yeah. Um, almost, almost dream. Yeah, go like her recent photo on Instagram. Oh yeah, it's sick, you guys. Yes. You're gonna love it. So anyways, Mary and I have been hanging out quite a bit this past couple of days because she is leaving, so I wanted to get her on the channel um, to basically share some of her crazy stories because you know in LA, Oh, when LA, Europe, wherever, like, my life is crazy. Yeah, and Mary, like, I will say it for her, she has a very, like, um, <laughs> I don't want to say extroverted personality, but, like, it's very out there and kind of, I don't want to say, like, <laughs> like, you're not afraid to talk to people. Like, we were walking in Beverly Hills and some random guy was, like, offering, um, like, lotions. And yeah. I was just like, no thanks, I'm fine. Mary goes, Oh my god, hi, how are you today? <laughs> yes, I would love some. Can you put some on my arm for me? I was being nice and he was actually yeah, cute. No. Okay, well, whatever. I'm just saying, like, most people will just, like, oh no, I'm I know. fine. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's how you are in Europe too, but I'm, I'm trying to be more open-minded. So I'm just saying, when you have that kind of personality, more crazy things happen to you. Yeah, Because you're true. a yes girl. That's what I would actually say. She's a yes girl. So, anyways, let's, um... Let's get into this crazy story. So, what exactly happened? Okay, so grab your tea, honey, because that's a crazy, crazy long story. Um, We're gonna try to keep it as short as possible because you know you guys are busy, so yeah. Yeah, like maybe 10 minutes short, yeah. Yeah, but okay. leave in some details. Because okay. I know they want the juicy stuff. So the juicy stuff, okay. Just cut out all the boring stuff and just juicy details. Focus. I got my teas. Okay. Shall we start? Let's start. We shall. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> uh, so. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? I am. Are you guys ready? Hello. Are you ready? Hello. I can see that. Leave a <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> All right. Let's get started. <laughs> okay. So it was on Halloween night. You know, crazy parties in Beverly Hills, Hollywood, all over the place. Yeah. And I got actually invited by a very generous doctor, plastic surgeon, to be a makeup artist at the event. We're gonna leave out names. Let's just yeah. Let's we're gonna make up fake names for, just for the story. Yes. So let's just say his name was what, Doctor Bob. Doctor Bob. Sure. Who cares? <laughs> okay, so I was at the doctor's place. Doctor Bob's. Yeah. Do we <laughs> do we have to say names though? I don't think. It's fine. Whatever. Yeah, we're just gonna say doctor. Sorry, we're getting DoorDash right now, so. <laughs> okay, so basically what happened is that I just it was very surprising to me because since I got here I didn't get any makeup gig, if that makes sense. Yeah. So when I texted him like out of the blue, he was like, Yeah, sure. Let's you DM'd do it. him on Instagram. Yeah, I DM'd him you, on okay. Instagram. Yeah. That's how I did most of my gigs like with people, influential people. Yeah. And basically what happened is that um, he asked me to come to his party. And at six, her, for, um, his kid had a party first, so I had to do makeup on the um, kids. Yeah. And then... Um, Sorry, I'm texting the dasher to keep going. Okay. So then, uh, from I think 8 p.m., something like that, I was supposed to do makeup on him. But then he was like, oh, no, no, you're not going to do makeup on me. I have this one very special guest that wants her makeup done. Mm -hmm. So I did a makeup on her. And then they were like, yeah, you can hang out with us. So I was hanging out with them. It was an awesome party, you guys. Like, very, like, extra. Very, you know? like, LA, LA. Yeah, like, yeah. LA, LA. There were, like, a lot of people. I'm assuming most of them did What was the house like? What was the house like? It was 
gorgeous. It was. It was in huge. Beverly Hills, right? It was Beverly Hills, yeah, like a mansion. Like up in the hills yes. or down? Up in the hills. Okay. Up in the hills. And actually, um, when I drove to the driveway, yeah, I saw like you know like all the luxurious cars and everything, and he had like all these custom decorations. What like, kind of cars? Can you say like a uh, Rolls, Rolls Royce, Royce? Yeah, yeah. Lambo, Ferrari, yeah. This and is so. If you guys are not in LA, this is actually. I'm from Europe, and I don't see it very this often. This is like normal for us here, but like for us now, for for everyday people in other parts of the world, or like country at least. In Poland, no. Maybe in England, yeah, but in Poland, no. And basically, he had like these awesome Halloween decorations. He had like his own maze. Like a scary maze where you just like enter and he also had like this woman that was like hung up by the skin She was like half naked and he, she was like hanging out like by the skin like they were like putting her up What? Yes It was I don't know like he it was it wasn't fake because she was literally like Hey, I don't want to think about that. Can we talk about <laughs> something else? Talk about something else that sounds Okay, gross. so besides the woman a lot of people came in Okay, can what do you mean hanging up by the skin? Like, you know the hooks? They were like under her skin. Oh, what? And she was just like, like hanging. Oh! Like on, in the air. Doesn't that look gross? Everyone was like, oh my god! Ew, that's so gross! Okay, okay, on to the next part of the story. Okay. Please. <laughs> so, I'm about to eat food, okay? Don't ruin my appetite. <laughs> it was actually pretty fun. Okay, keep going. And then uh, inside you had food court, you had candies, all of like crazy, crazy Halloween candies you could possibly find. Like sandwiches, um, some hot food, drinks, of course drinks, they had an open bar so everyone was like drunk yeah. and li laying on the floor. And was, was it during like, the day or at night? How do you think? Probably. It know. was like 10 p.m. Oh, okay. 11. Yeah. And it all like started, like people started to leave around like, I would say like 3, 4 p.m. A.M. Oh dang! Yeah, that's how long I stayed. Like I wasn't planning on, but I met these two amazing girls, and they were just like, "Yeah, just hang out with us," you know. And they actually knew people around there, so I was like, "Yeah, okay." Like that's whatever. literally. I swear, every party here is like you. If you guys want to go to a party, try to work the, try to find your way in working there, mm -hmm. and you probably will only work for like an hour. I was and then working, they just And then know. they're just like, oh, just hang out. Yeah. And now you're at the party, you meet everyone, and then you go to parties in the future exactly. again. Exactly, and I, actually there was this one guy, so I don't know. it's perfect you do makeup, because yeah. parties need makeup people. Exactly, and especially in Halloween, oh my god. Or, if you, can do, or if you can do bartending, um, that's good as well. Yeah. Playing music, like a DJ. Mm -hmm. um, the DJ was pretty nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I don't know what else, but... Oh, and you had like these LED lights, the dance floor, like literally dance yeah. floor. Yeah. Like in the middle. Um, what else? Oh, he had like, I think the alcohol fountain, like fountain, like you literally just put up the... Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was crazy. Um, and actually I got lost in the house. <laughs> you're like, where am I? You're like, hello! <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for my one of my friends. Because she was supposed to like get me to the front so I can order Uber, and I was waiting for like for her like an idiot in front of the scary maze, and I'm like, okay, where is she? And like all of the guys were looking at me, and I'm like, mm, I feel so uncomfortable. I just want to get out of here. And then yeah. she just pops up out of nowhere, and I'm like, girl, <laughs> yeah. And then um, so I ordered the Uber from the like. I just literally just went in front of the house. It was so confusing, like because a lot of people were ordering Ubers. Yeah. There were like a lot of Bugattis freaking coming up because you know rich people just picking up other rich people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I was so confused which Uber is mine because yeah. there were like six of them in the line. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, which one is mine? And then I found mine finally and my friend of course as my friend was like all over the place like oh is this for Mary? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I just got in and this Uber driver started asking me so many questions because like not every day you pick up someone from Beverly Hills mansion where all you can see is like sports cars yeah. luxury and luxury stuff. So I want to move to Beverly Hills. Huh? <laughs> I want to move to Beverly Hills. Oh, trust me. If you like took a ride around these houses, oh my god. I was looking. I was looking at houses in Beverly Hills. It's uh, like, but, but up it's like in the hills. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. 
It'd or like twice uh, as Hollywood much Hills. as this place for the same size. Yeah. So but the, but nice. with the sick view yeah. though. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, maybe in Hollywood Hills. Yeah, maybe. Because you have the view on the downtown. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, that's sick. Not like a freaking sea or ocean, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So um, basically, what happened is that I. It was a pretty long ride because there was traffic, surprisingly. Because mm -hmm. it's Halloween night, so of course there was traffic. Um, and it took me around 40 minutes to get home. Usually it's like 20. So yeah. that was pretty challenging. Uh, and Were you what, dressed up or no? <clears throat> no. Okay. I was just having like, because I was trying to be like semi formal. Yeah. Because after all, I was there for a job. You exactly. Know? Yeah, yeah. So I didn't want to be like too all over the place and look all crazy. So I just wore like a um, dark dress, like black dress. Sure. And the heels. Um, and yeah, so like we were talking, everything was fine. He was started to like asking me about like, uh, what am I doing? So I was like, yeah, I'm a makeup artist. I do this and this and this. And he asked me like how I got into this part. Like we were just having a conversation. It was a nice conversation. But then like it stuff just started getting very personal. Like he was asking me about my personal details. Like where do I like, he knew like where do I live? Cause he drove me there. Oh, like, that's the, okay. That's it. That's a spooky. That's the thing. worst part about Uber. Is yeah. like they now they know where you live. Yeah. Okay. Like, hey, really quick cut off before you finish your story. The other day, I had, you know, all my audience are Uber drivers. Mm -hmm. One of my Uber driver, he knew who I was, mm -hmm. and he's taking me to my house, and he's like, "Oh, you live in a nice area. Oh, the expensive homes up here." And I'm like, "Yeah." And and then he's, and then he's like, "Oh, who do you live with?" And I'm like, "Bruh." He's like, do you live by yourself or do you live with people? I'm like, dude, okay, this is getting creepy. You just said that you live with your wife. I said I live with my sugar daddy. Mama. Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. With someone coming out of the closet. <laughs> hey, twenty dollars is twenty dollars. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> twenty bucks is twenty bucks, baby. <laughs> Hey, you want to be able to afford nice paintings like that one behind you? Move your head. Oh, that's an ugly painting. Hey, I painted it myself. Really? You're not talented. <laughs> Continue, go. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. Sorry guys, we're both a little like... Comedians? No, like we get distracted really easily. Oh, really? No you shit. don't think you do? Yeah, I do. You come in and we, you start talking about 17 different things. <laughs> and I already forget what, what we were supposed to be talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. So, next to the Like sorry. the first time you came over, we were trying to film a video. And the next thing you know, you're talking about like some random guy in Dubai who you met on like a summer vacation. I'm like, how did we get here? <laughs> I know. Okay, continue the story. No, you just got off the topic. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, because I get distracted too. So both of us is not a good combo. Go, 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 go. They're waiting. Okay. So what happened is that he's tried to like ask me like my personal info, like my Instagram. Uh, when I said, like first he asked me for my number. So I said, I'm not giving out my number to strangers. So then he asked me for my Instagram, my social media, every, literally everything you could possibly find. And I'm like, dude. We are not doing this. This is not happening. <laughs> and basically, when we just like were reaching out to my house, and it was quite nearby, like it was like five minutes away, he started acting very weird. And he's like, "Oh, I think you're really pretty. I think like, you know, you, like your body is amazing." And I'm like, "Oh, excuse me, like what's happening?" And I immediately like just turned red, and I'm like, "What the?" F what the heck am I supposed to do? Yeah. Like, what's going on? And then he was like, oh, I'm really into you. I like you. And I think we would be a great match. And I'm like, is this a Tinder in real life? Because I would swipe and left. <laughs> and then when we got to my house, he literally just pulled over, um, just stopped, literally stopped, and looked me dead in the eyes and was like, do you want to come over to my place? Oh my god. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, you're a maniac. Get lost. 
like I, 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 I literally just smashed the door and just let, like literally ran to my house. That's how freaking scared I was. And like he wasn't even that handsome. He wasn't even handsome. That was a traumatic experience. I'm traumatized. But I got over it somehow. Yeah, I mean, you still take Ubers, but... Yeah, still. I do. I just... It's a very unpleasant experience. Because um, he didn't feel the vibe, you know? Like, I was literally just, like, rejecting him. Yeah. Throughout the conversation. Like, I was like, no, like, I don't want to give this. And then, and then just, like, asking me, like, straight up the question to sleep with this him. This is such a problem because... Or like, Uber you know? It's like, sometimes Uber... It's like, honestly... People just take it the wrong way because Uber and Lyft, when they show their commercials to uh -huh. sign up to be drivers, they they kind of advertise as a way, oh, it's a fun way to make extra money. And it's like people get the wrong idea mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, maybe I can meet a girl this yeah, way. Exactly. And I know one girl, oh, she also makes, she's like, we talked on Instagram. She uh, She's an Irish girl. Mm -hmm. She, um, what's her name? I forget her name, but she's a YouTuber, mm -hmm. kind of like. <laughs> She made a few videos, but she, whatever. She's like a model. And her driver um, basically kidnapped her. Like, kind of kidnapped her. No way. She, like, got, they got to her house, and then the driver was like, oh, do you want to go to, uh, do you want to get a coffee? I'll buy you coffee right now. And she's like, she said yes. Because, like, you know, we were talking about this earlier. It's like some people have different kind of personalities. Mm -hmm. You're, like, very strong, confident. You will say, no. She's just like, uh, yeah, okay. And um, she's like, yeah, I guess. And then they went out and he parked and they walked into a McDonald's and got a coffee. A McDonald's? Yeah. And then, she, and then she ended up was like being driven around with him. They ended up driving around for like 30 minutes. And she, I don't know, finally, whatever, she got like, I don't know what, how it ended. But yeah, like there, this, these are not like rare cases, like. There's a lot of cre I've had well one time I was driving driving for Lyft and one of my passengers offered me uh, like two hundred dollars or something to hang out with him and his buddy for the night. For the night. That's they the said, match. Oh, do you wanna come out do you wanna come out to the bars with us? We'll pay you. Oh my god. DoorDash is here. Hold on. Okay. I need to give him a tip. Hey, how are you? Good. Good. Yeah, yeah. Um cool. Thank you so much. No problem. One second, let me give you a second. Alright, thank you, man. Have a good one. Alright, later. <laughs> Alright, let's finish. What, sir? The story. Oh. We need to finish the video. Come on. I know. <laughs> Alright, guys, we just got um, our breakfast. So we're gonna eat this, but we wanted to finish this video. And did I leave him a tip? Yes, you did. I will have to five dollar tip. <laughs> wow, so generous. Yeah, it was a long ride, so I thought he deserved it. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, I got, and I asked for a bunch of sides, so and he brought them, so thank you. But yeah, that's uh, that's it for the video. So um, just take a lesson and stay be safe, like you know, just confident, like follow you like freaking or don't take uber yeah if you are afraid of that because i wouldn't blame you just stand for your rights and for your opinion and say no all right thank you guys so much for watching today's video uh leave your thoughts down below again you can follow you can find her on instagram if you do want <laughs> please if you want to follow my journey but be nice america to her. Um, some of you guys one of you guys already slid into her dms and said something mean right about yeah. the tipping thing so be nice okay come on this is this is a short, beautiful, amazing life we live in. Don't spread negativity. Exactly. We don't have one life to live. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Leave a big thumbs up. All right, guys. Sorry, the 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 camera died. But thank you guys for watching today's video. I'm too lazy to set it back up on the tripod. But um, yeah, you can follow us on Instagram in yes, the description please. down below and subscribe, like, comment, and we'll talk to you all soon. Bye, guys. Bye.